close your eyes and watch your breath. The breath comes in, you're right here. The breath goes out, you're right here. Try to keep your mind steady with the breath. The breath comes in, goes out, but you want the mind to be at an even keel. It's like a post at the edge of a sea. The sea rises, but the post doesn't rise with the sea. The sea goes down, the post doesn't go down with the sea. This kind of quality of mind you want to develop. Because we live in a world with lots of ups and downs. Things come our way and then they go away. We gain material wealth and then it goes away. We gain status and it goes away. Then it comes back again. People praise us, they criticize us. Things are pleasant, things are painful. I mean, this is the way the world is. It's like the tides in the ocean. And we have to make sure that our minds are steady in the midst of all this, because otherwise we can create a lot of turmoil. Say somebody comes and says something really negative to you. Well, you keep in mind the fact that okay, that's their prerogative. They can say that. They have the right. They've got the mouth to say things. And this is a part of the world. What, what is human speech like? Human speech is good and it's bad, friendly and unfriendly, kind, unkind, true, false. It's just the normal way of human speech. So when we meet up with these different kinds of human speech, we have to make our, keep our mind at normalcy too, because the speech that comes our way—that's basically our old past karma coming back at us. That's what's coming at us. And what we do in response, that's our new karma. That's what you have some control over. There's a lot of things in the world that you've done in the past and they're going to come back at you. You can't change that, but you can change your attitude so that you don't have to suffer from them. It's like you throw a snowball and now you're on the other side. You can get out of the way. In other words, even if we have past bad karma, we don't have to suffer from it if we keep our minds on an even keel, if we learn how to keep our minds solid and steady, keep them normal in the face of the normal way of the world. Our problem is that we see these things that we don't like as abnormal, and our minds get abnormal as a result. And then we start doing abnormal things. Greed takes over and it's like we're another person. Lust takes over, greed, ta greed anger takes over and we're another person. So you have to be very careful. Don't let these other things come in and take over. You want to make sure that you are in charge of what you're going to be doing. And you want all your mindfulness and alertness and discernment to be in charge of what you're doing as well. So this is why we train the mind, so that in the face of all the normal things of the world, we don't get abnormal. Realize, okay, good things are normal, bad things are normal. This is the way the world is. If you want a world that's only good, you're in the wrong world. So we have to make sure that our actions are good, are the things we do and say in response. So remember, when something bad comes your way, that's your past karma. Accept it like a good support. But realize you don't have to suffer from it. And you have the choice to do good things in response or bad things in response. And the mind is kept at normalcy, you're a lot more likely to do the right thing, the skillful thing. It doesn't create a lot of more bad karma to come back at you again. So remember, the mind is always making its world, shaping its world. The world you're in right now is the world that you've shaped. But what you're going to shape from now and on in the future, okay, that's your choice. So when the mind is well trained, okay, you can shape a good world. It's like a, a potter at a wheel. The potter's mind has to be concentrated, alert, can't move around a lot. If the potter's mind is tilting in one direction or another, then the pot's going to tilt in one direction or another, then it's going to be a ruined pot. So keep your mind straight, keep it on an even keel. And the actions that come out, the thoughts you think, the words you say, the deeds you do, those will be all for the good.